Hi everyone. Well, I've done another video, so I'm going to show it to you, but I have to preface it with a couple of apologies. First one is that, oh my gosh, the video quality sucks big hairy sorry there's no other way to say it it's just so bad so so bad I don't know what happened I had the mom use my iPhone which I've done before in the past successfully um, I used a different app I think that's what the problem was so I won't be doing that again I'm gonna start using my Sony I think it's probably a good idea to use my professional photography gear for the video portion of these videos so I do apologize, please don't hate me too much. So this video is, um, I did a video previously that I bought the CLX 10 continuous light with a battery for outside work and I had only used it a couple of times inside and I didn't have any, as you know from that other video, I didn't buy any modifiers with it. I thought, ah, well, the light was expensive enough, I'm just gonna stick to an umbrella. And so I did that video outside showing me using it with the umbrella and the images turned out so pretty and I actually did tag Stella Pro Lights in those images and they were kind enough to reach out to me and send me a couple of modifiers. So I'm going to demo one of the modifiers that they sent me today because the other one that they sent me I think I'll only use for outside. It's more like a like a spotlight, a Fresno lens, right? So not really something I think I want to use in studio, although I might find a, a reason for it. Um, but the little plastic dome modifier that goes over top of the bare bulb, I love it because there's a really particular look that I like to achieve in studio that is for specific types of edits. And this one is perfect for it. So I'm going to show you that and show you the different types of images that I create using a harder light source as well after I then added an umbrella to that little white dome diffuser and oh my gosh even better. So I'm super excited to show you all of these images and the edits and the calls and any questions or comments feel free to reach out below in the comments. Also um, I am not sponsored by them or anything like that, but I will link below to their website because they do have an amazing Black Friday special on right now, 50% off some of their stuff. And I think it's good until December the 6th. And we're sitting right here right today at about November 22nd. All right, so um, yeah, let's get into it. So welcome to my really crappy video quality. So you can see that I just have the Stella light on a boom just pointing directly at Nevea and um, I wanted to try just a couple shots with this. This isn't my typical lighting setup for this look. I did like it but honestly don't think it's something I would do very often so I will show you a couple of the edits that I did with this particular light setup. So as you could see, it was a harsher light source, harder light source, but then I just popped on the umbrella and oh my gosh, it was just like magic and really perfect for this type of look in a portrait if you like that soft buttery look. So don't hesitate to get this light. It's really, really amazing for the soft buttery look. So again, I apologize for the really bad quality of the video and I'm just going to show you the straight out of the camera shots from the first initial call and I just really want to draw attention to how much more buttery soft the light is once we put that light into the umbrella and I used a really large umbrella but honestly you can use any size but it's just buttery, soft, beautiful, beautiful light. And the wonderful part about this light is that you get to take it outside because it's fully functional as a battery operated light. So that's super exciting. So here they are, turned out really pretty. In 
In this next scene, I just changed the flowers out for a generic headpiece. And I always love doing a couple of different poses, switching up the costume a little bit, and then I usually do a couple of looks. Okay, and here is the call from the next look. All we did was remove the flowers and put on a different headpiece. And here they are. And now I'll show you a couple of my edits. Okay, this is where it gets fun. So this light source all by itself without an umbrella was by far my favorite for this particular look. Now, this particular look is one that I use all the time when I know I'm going to be doing a composite using mid journey florals or, you know, any of the other kind of mid journey images you see me compositing and creating with my photography. And I have to tell you that you know, you can see my placement of the light is kind of behind her, sort of pointing at her from behind, and the perfection of the contrast was mind-blowing for me. Very, very um, focused on the subject and the darkness that resulted in the surrounding areas and the brightness and the um, highlights to her skin were absolutely perfect, and this is exactly what I will use going forward for all of my AI florals and other kind of composite work and it's absolutely perfect for it. So I did shoot this using my Sony a7R 4 and my 50 millimeter f1.2. In this next scene, same exact look, everything else, except I added the umbrella to it and you know the images were lovely, they were soft and buttery but for this exact look, it's just not as good as using that little dome because I get the high contrast and the harsher light source that I need for this specific look of these images that I'm going for. So the final few shots are just right overhead, straight down. And when you lay someone on an ottoman or down like this, prop them up with a pillow or a blanket behind their head and it's going to be amazing. So just taking a look at a few of my floral portraits, you can see how punchy the light is and how the dome is perfect for this style of photography. Thanks so much for watching guys. Uh, stay tuned. I'll have another video up soon and have a great one.